4 o'clock in New York. The headline in the New York Times says it all. Quote, McCarthy under threat from right orders Biden impeachment inquiry. Under threat from right is right. And it was inevitable. Ever since it took Kevin McCarthy 15 embarrassing ballots to become speaker in the first place back in January, by essentially selling the speakership off in parts to the darkest corners of his caucus and being put in what Matt Gates called the, quote, world's best straitjacket, it was inevitable. It was always going to come to this. McCarthy announcing that he was unilaterally directing House committees to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden without even a vote by the House. He called it the, quote, next logical step in the TOP's Hunter Biden investigations, which so far have turned up zero evidence of any wrongdoing by President Joe Biden. Like, not a zilch. It's a fact so clear that even Republican members of Kevin McCarthy's caucus have acknowledged it. Here's one of them, Republican Ken Buck. The time for impeachment is the time when there's evidence linking President Biden, uh, if there's evidence, linking President Biden to a high crime or misdemeanor. That doesn't exist right now. All the same, in an effort to please Matt Gates and other hard right extreme MAGA members of his caucus, have actually been grumbling pretty loudly lately about Kevin McCarthy's leadership. As Congress barrels toward a deadline to fund the government, Kevin McCarthy today announced something that most House speakers have only considered a last resort when things reach that Ken Buck standard, if you will. The last time the House held an impeachment inquiry was in 2019, and only after news of a whistleblower complaint and reporting that revealed Donald Trump had pressured America's ally, Ukraine, Ukraine's president, to investigate the Bidens. Looming over it all, though, is, of course, that man. The man who was impeached back then and impeached one more time for an unprecedented, deadly insurrection at the United States Capitol. We're, of course, talking about the disgraced, four times indicted ex-president and current GOP frontrunner. He's managed to make the priorities of one of America's two major political parties completely, entirely, all the time about him. Here's how Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin puts it. Why would we want to drag ourselves down into impeachment over a non-scandal? And I think it's because uh, Donald Trump, who's obviously running for president, doesn't want to be the only guy on the ballot who's been impeached before. But he was impeached for good reason. He incited a violent insurrection against the union, as determined by the House of Representatives, and in a 57 to 43 vote over on the Senate side. Kevin McCarthy's desperate clinging to the speakership masquerading as an impeachment inquiry is where we start today. Starting us off, White House spokesman for oversight and investigations, special assistant to the president, Ian Sams. Ian, so if there's anything we missed on what's actually going on on Capitol Hill, please, please jump in as part one. But, but part two is it's all a sham, so says Republican Ken Buck, and there's still such an audience for, for the disinformation and the counter-programming on Earth 2, I, I wonder if it's still something the White House takes seriously and has concerns about. Yeah, Nicole, you're exactly right. And you talk about Congressman Buck. I actually, I actually wrote down right here some other Republican congressmen who have said similar things. Quote, Dave Joyce, not seeing any facts or evidence. Don Bacon, quote, there should be a direct link to the president in some evidence. Dusty Johnson of South Dakota, I've not seen that evidence. So this is a widespread belief among the House Republican Conference. And the reason why it's a widespread belief is because it's the truth. There is no evidence of wrongdoing by President Biden because President Biden didn't do anything wrong. They've spent the better part of a half of a decade now investigating him over these exact same claims to try to attack him, to try to attack his family, to try to undercut the progress that he's making for America. These are the things that they've been investigating over and over and over again, and every time they come up dry. And why are they doing it? They're doing it because the extreme far-right members of that caucus are demanding it of Speaker McCarthy. This isn't based on anything substantive. It's based on the fact that he is being attacked from his right and he's throwing them red meat. It shows how illegitimate this inquiry really is. And, and it, it gets to something deeper. This is yet another example of trampling on the norms and the Constitution and, and this stability of our democracy. The Constitution sets a standard for impeachment. And not only have they not met it, 
They haven't found any evidence at all to proceed to this. And so I think when you think about what the president is doing, you look at the last five days where he's traveled across this world, rebuilding American alliances, advancing national interests in a key region of the world. And when he's back home, he's helping to lower prescription drug costs. He's opening factories with the Inflation Reduction Act uh, and the infrastructure bill, creating infrastructure jobs, rebuilding roads and bridges. These are the things that matter to Americans and their families. I don't think they want to see Congress continuing down this bizarre path of attacking him and his family instead of focusing on what makes